Hey everyone, this is Judy, and as a part of my creative meditations, I pretty much made a planner from scratch. So I love decorating it, I love looking through it, and I love planning with it. So here we go. So as mentioned in my last video, I chose the disc bound system. Um, if you want to know why, just go ahead and watch my previous video. As you can see, it does a pretty good job in holding all the pages together. This is what I chose as a cover for my planner. It's made from those foldable cutting boards you can get at the dollar store. I like the plastic in this case for the durability. And I made some New York washi using packing tape. So the image I just got from the internet. I've been using this pen recently. It's the Z Grip Flight made by Zebra. It writes smoothly enough, but the real reason I'm using it is because it leaked into my pen holder. So it really needs to be horizontal when it's stored. I figured that I should just use it all up and then throw it out. When you first open it up, uh, we have a pocket containing cat-shaped papers. I first saw cat post-its at Muji, but they were too expensive, so I made my own using scraps of paper. They're hand cut and in some of these guys, that's really obvious. I made a pocket using journaling cards and inside are homemade page flags. As you can see, I'm not so good at cutting so they're a little bit uneven. I used the giant paper clip to hold it down. I'm not sure if I like that setup because it sticks out on my front page, but I'm confident that the plastic won't bend and look ugly with the paper clip on. To the right side, I have my to-do list, which I mark down with hearts. So whenever I finish a task, I color it in green. And if you look here, I've made the opposite page upside down because I hate writing with the rings in my way. So what I do is just rip it out, flip it over, and then I can write it on the right side. As you can see on the back of this page, I fully completed the task so I crossed it off so I know I can recycle the paper once I'm finished. I keep a stack of paper that's about half the width of the rest of my planner. I'm a chronic list maker so this comes in handy if my to-do list is larger than normal or if I want to do groceries. Since it's close to the front of my planner, it also serves as a brain dump where if I get an idea, I have to write it down quickly before I forget. Stuff that doesn't require a full page. I separated the sections of my planner with scrapbook paper and then I included this journaling card which I printed a meme on it. When I take it out you can see that the holes are actually star shaped. I thought that that would give it a little bit more pizzazz. This section is my current yoga log which I marked down with a paper clip that my friend Nita crocheted for me. It's a beautiful star. As a teacher I am determined not to let my practice dwindle so keeping a log helps me stay on track. I write down the time I practiced, where I practiced, and if applicable, the teacher. Because truth be told, sometimes we just go easier on ourselves when doing it at home. Writing it down keeps me accountable. I downloaded these pages from Filofaxi and I used washi or stickers to cover the undated sections so only the month shows. These pages are all printed right side up because at the time of printing, it didn't occur to me that the discs would be in the way of my writing on the left hand side. Towards the end of this section, I included instructions on how to reprint because I don't remember any of that stuff. Here's another divider page. Uh, I believe the manufacturer is Recollections with a journaling card from Project Life. I started a list of all the things I'm grateful for a few years ago and I always smile when I go back and look at these old posts. I made this page in Word so comment below with your email if you'd like me to send it to you. Like the previous pages, I star punched a couple of pages and I printed upside down. Towards the end of this section, I have an acetate journaling card, which I use as a sticker sheet for my homemade arrow stickers. I found these graphics online, and I just love them. On the front side, I've attached some beautiful drawings of London buildings, which I got from an adult coloring book. I glued some pretty paper on the back and called them homemade journaling cards. Finally, we get to my monthly spread. I turned my cat paper into a post-it to remind myself that I have to YouTube and update my website. 
I washed it down the month and added some stickers. I love my David Bowie vinyl sticker and I placed it on the day that I found out of his passing. I'm not overly booked, but I have written down some date-specific things I need to get done. At the bottom, I've taped some tasks that I have to do every week, and I've actually attached them to a acetate sheet so then I can carry them over to future months. I made my Hello Kitty magnetic bookmark so I can quickly access the current month. Otherwise, I don't like having too, too many things sticking out of my planner. On this side, I've also written some holidays. There's Orthodox Christmas because one of my good friends celebrates it and I have to remember to text her. I used a page flag here to remind myself of a class I taught that I haven't yet picked up my paycheck. And I attached it to my notes section on the right side. Once I'm done this month, I'll transfer my acetate sheet over to the next month so all my weekly tasks will be on the bottom. As you can see, I can pretty much relocate anything on my acetate sheet so it's not blocking anything important. I don't really like how the washi tasks on the lower right hand corner cover my love sticker, so when the time comes, I'll probably relocate them as well. In March, I am going on a trip, so I've marked it down with these stickers. Since the spread is pretty blank, I can show you that this is actually a perpetual calendar where I just print off these templates and then I write my own numbers in. I created this one in Word as well. I'm going until the end of April, so I don't really have too many things coming up. And then here are the blank spreads. Going back to March, I've used my long thin paper here for some China to-dos and some medicine that I need to buy. That includes supplements as well as some recommendations I got from my pharmacy friend. Yes, I choose natural products over conventional any day, but since I've never been overseas, I wanna be prepared for everything. I mark my sections with washi tape on the side. So in theory, once my sections fill out a little bit, you'll be able to see them from the side. Right now, the monthly section is the most noticeable, but I've also started on my other sections. The next two sections of my planner is filled with relevant information regarding stuff that I want to do in YouTube and on my website. So for example, I have some music that I want to include and some ideas about what I want to post next month or next week. On this divider, I used a clear overlay on one of the gold dots to make a golden snitch because I'm kind of a Harry Potter nerd. I keep a journaling card at the front of my finances section. I have the current month on one half and the next month on the other half. Once I make a payment, I transfer the payee over to the next month to remind myself that I have paid so-and-so this month. Once all the payees have been paid, I simply rip off the month and tape on the following month, which I keep at the back of the card. So I'll continue using the same washi to keep track of my recurring monthly expenses. And I have a poly envelope here to keep all my receipts. I attached washi tape to the edge and then punched my own holes because the holes that came with the original pouch didn't fit my rings. If I don't have a receipt, I jot down my expenses to enter into a computerized spreadsheet so I am aware of my cash flow. Since this is very much a stay-at-home planner, I have account information on the next page, which I'm not going to show you, obviously. And then I have a sleeve to contain some coupons. The last section contains lined paper, so I can write stuff down and transfer it to the appropriate section. I can also just write stuff down and then rip them out to take with me and then discard if I have to. One of my favorite features of the disc bound system of binding is just that flexibility. I finished off my planner with a journaling card. It says mischief managed. Again, Harry Potter reference.
That's all for now. Thanks so much for watching. I'd also love to hear how you set up your planner, so please leave a comment below.